Like I said, I'm very excited to be here to be talking about what we're doing uh, at HTC Vive. My name is Raymond Mosco. I work for developer relations. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> uh, I work for developer relations. And you know, while we are traditionally a virtual reality company, and you know, if you've been in virtual production for a long time, you probably have interesting battle stories of having used our VR headsets and our trackers to do a variety of different things in virtual, virtual production environments, be it to do virtual location scouting or to be tracking props or a variety of different things. Uh, if you're out there and you've done that, I'd love you to track me down later and kind of tell me some of your war stories. I've heard a lot of them before, and I just love hearing the kind of breadth and width of what people have done with this virtual reality technology. But as a result of that, we took that feedback and that you know understanding that that y'all were looking to use this technology for a production purpose. And so as a result, about a year ago, we released something called, let's see if the clicker works. So we get one click, one click. Uh, we, we introduced something at NAB two years ago, or yeah, uh, called uh, Vibe Mars. Vibe Mars was our attempt to create a professional class camera tracking solution that allowed you to do all the things that you really needed and have the features that you needed, things like Genlock, things like, like, uh, like uh, timecode that you weren't really able to do if you were kludging together a camera tracking solution uh, with a, a, a Vibe Pro headset. Uh, and so as a result, we released, we released that about a year ago to the day. Uh, and you know, I'm very excited that you'll learn a little bit later about how many of them are out, out in the world. Um, but you know, some of the incredible features around Vibe Mars is the ease of setup, the incredible price. You know, five thousand dollars. It's an incredible camera tracking solution to allow you to do a lot of the same sophisticated things that some of the other tracking solutions on the market are doing, but again, at a very affordable price. Um, and not only camera tracking, we're finding folks that are using it for a variety of different things, being it tra uh, attaching it to props, attaching it to lighting, doing all kinds of different gags and all kinds of different sort of sort of things in game engines uh, to you know allow you to do do the things that you want to do with virtual production. In addition to you know uh, one one button uh, 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 recentering. Uh, very simple cal uh, lens calibration. Uh, you know, we're able to. Uh, you're able to set up a camera tracking solution in a matter of minutes, rather than having to spend you know hours trying to trying to get these uh, this solution up and running. We found that even partners that are using existing camera tracking solutions, a lot of times will buy a Vibe Mars to have as a backup, just in case, so they can kind of save the back half of the day if they lose tracking at lunch. Um, you know, and part of part of the reason that Vibe Mars is so exciting is that we have this incredible Facebook community of creators and filmmakers that are in, in, interacting with each other, talking with each other, and teaching each other how to use this technology. And as a result of that, we came together, I think about six weeks ago, and we put together our first community-driven best shot competition. And you know, it, it was really exciting. We weren't really sure how well this would go uh, in the community, but the community was excited about it, and we got uh, a large amount of uh, uh, submissions in regards to it. Uh, and it also allowed us to give an opportunity to showcase the incredible mentors that we have in our community. And so I'd like to take a moment and just give give a thank you to Jordan Vanderpoint of Cinecom, Phil Galler, who's here. A lot of these folks are actually here at the conference. Some of them are, are here in the room right now. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Uh, Phil Galler from NEP Lux Machina, Norman Wang from Glass, Glassbox Technologies, uh, Daniel Malik from View Technologies, and then Ed himself, Edward, da Ed Edward Dawson T Taylor from CG Pro. So thank you for participating as judges in our competition. I know there was a lot of a lot of uh, uh, submissions that you had to review, uh, and you know we realized that based on the the submissions that we received, we didn't want to just uh, highlight a single winner. We wanted to kind of create a, a couple different categories and showcase incredible creators in, in those different categories. And so as a result, I'd like to take a minute and actually uh, announce the winners of that competition. Uh, you'll actually get to see these the, these shorts. Uh, coming up next week. That's when we'll actually start uh, releasing them on our uh, socials. But right now, I'd like to say congratulations. Come on. C congratulations to Eddie Kwan for best story. Yeah, right now. Let's give him a hand, right? Matthew Vassalero for, uh, for most immersive. 
Omar Moreau for best performance. Kevin Uskakovic for uh, best behind the scenes. One of the components of the competition is that you had, to, you had to use Vibe Mars. And so in order to prove that you use Vibe Mars, you had to provide back, uh, behind the scenes footage showing, showing you using it. And I think for a lot of us, sometimes that's the most impressive part of, of, of these productions. It's not, I mean, we can create incredible visuals, but sometimes seeing how folks are using it, the incredible little, um, you know, tricks that people use to create some of these experiences, um, you know, that is really what gets a lot of us excited and inspired to go off and create more content. Additionally, Timothy Wong for best cinematography. It's cool, yeah. <laughs> and Johannes Skoog for best creativity. Might have one more. And then probably my favorite, Edward Green for most abstracts. So check it, check out our socials, Vibe Mars, pretty much on everything, uh, and you'll be able to see those uh, those, those uh, uh, shorts. The requirements for the for the presentation is the clips had to be anywhere between 15 seconds and two minutes. We weren't looking for epic odysseys. We just wanted to show see what people could do in a short period of time. Uh, one of the other components is everyone you had to include the uh, Vive logo in in the presentation. So, you know, I'm curious, I'm excited for you all to see kind of how these creators were able to use these constraints in order to create this content. But the main reason we're here at Production Summit is that, you know, you may have noticed on the, the Best Shot competition, the winners receive something called a Mars Fist track. We've been talking, we've been hearing from you since we released Mars that the messing component of the equation is the ability to use something other than Pride lenses. And so we took that information to heart and we went off and we built a lens encoder for y'all. And so I'd like to announce that starting today on our website, you can order the Mars FizzTrack lens encoder. Let's check it out. Come on. <laughs> it's shipping now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. When HTC Vive introduced Vive Mars Cam Track last year, it was a breakthrough moment marking the arrival of a simple, user friendly, and affordable camera tracking solution. The reason we decided to go with the Mars Cam Track system was because, frankly, it was perfect to do the size of stage that we have, it was affordable and it's really easy to use. We're excited to announce the next essential component that empowers cinematographers to elevate their shots to the next level. Introducing Mars Fizz Track. If you don't know what Fizz is, Fizz is your focus, iris, and zoom on your camera. Typically with the Vive Mars Cam Track, you can track your camera position, but you can't track your lens data. So if you ever zoom in on your lens with the zoom lens, your frustum is not updating with your focal length. Same thing if you ever rack your focus on your lens, it's not updating with the Unreal Engine. So with the Fizz Track system, you can take your lens data and bring that directly into Unreal Engine. So as you zoom on your lens and your physical camera, your frustum zooms on Unreal Engine. The reason why we really need a lens encoder when shooting on our LED volume is in our studio, there's not as much depth as if we're shooting on a outdoor location. So bringing in our lens data into Unreal Engine, we're able to mimic all that depth. At Social U, we do a lot of talking head videos where we have people sitting in a chair like this talking to you in a green screen environment like I am right now. We felt ourselves changing focus, but the background focus was staying static with that. It wasn't working in concert with that foreground movement. What this allows us to do with the Mars Fizz Track is now all of that's going to be working in real time together. So as that person approaches the camera, that background's going to change its focal quality as we're racking that focus. Continuing our mission to make virtual production simple, Mars FizzTrack empowers studios to adapt their existing cinematic techniques for virtual production without compromise. Because it plugs directly into the Mars, it's great because it gets its power from that and it also sends its data through the Mars system. Once we were able to do the encoding and get the lens mapping bits done, we were really then able to control the fall off side of things in the virtual world and that sort of made everybody happy and we were all high-fiving and stuff, so it was great. Precision meets simplicity. Let Mars Fizz Track elevate your virtual production cinematography. Yeah, Mar Mars Fizz Track available starting today. 
And you know, like I said, this this has been the missing the missing piece of the equation, or at least that that's what y'all have told us. You know, uh, people who are, are users who were able to who purchased Mars early were really able to make a lot of incredible content with simply prime lenses. But the want to be able to use to control the data from your from your fizz, from your focus, your iris, and your zoom, and be able to push that back into game engine so that as you rack focus, as you rack the uh, the, the iris, you're able to see those adjustments in the game engine. This is huge. The other exciting thing about it is that it's very affordable. Um, much like much like Mars Cam Tracked, which is at, it was priced at five thousand dollars. A lot of people have told us that it's an order of magnitude cheaper than a lot of the other uh, camera tracking solutions on the market. Uh, Mars Fist Track uh, is coming out today at four ninety nine. So similarly, a very affordable a very affordable solution. We've calculated that uh, for roughly seven seven thousand dollars, you can have three three Fist Tracks, the Mars. Uh, cam track solution as well as some extra base stations and you have everything you need to run a full virtual production shoot uh, in in your home or on a studio you know one of the exciting things that we're also seeing is that in addition to filmmakers we're finding a lot of agencies a lot of houses of worship a lot of uh, you know education institutions being able to, to purchase Mars and use it to be able to add this kind of virtual production touch to the type of content that they're making You'll see the the Mars cam track. It's attached actually to this this camera up here. So uh, at the end of the presentation, if you're interested in t taking a, taking a look at it, feel free to to get up and kind of play with it a little bit. Um, additionally, it's very easy to set up. Much like Mars sets up in about 10 15 minutes, you literally just plug one USB cable from the Fizz Track into the Mars rover, and you're ready to go. So uh, the, these these uh, uh, lens encoders are very quick to to uh, uh, set up, and that is part part of the ethos that that we have with our technology, being able to make it very easy and accessible to use. Here's a product spec. So it fits on pretty standard rails. It's got a, a standard kind of M.8 gear uh, gear on it, so it fits most standard lenses. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, like I said, it's very it's very easy to to connect and kind of connect uh, connect to your to your camera. Additionally, there is a uh, 0.52 inch uh, OLED display on it, so you're able to see the readout of the positioning of the the lens tracker as you, as you rack the focus on the barrel of the lens. So yeah, shipping now, it's available in the US, UK, uh, Australia, and then uh, in APAC through some of our, some of our uh, third party resellers, uh, and expect to see more locations uh, uh, holding, uh, providing it soon. Uh, that QR code will send you to the website where you can order it. Um, but additionally, it is, like I said, the missing part of, of our ecosystem. Uh, this here is, is a, a a uh, piece of content that a lot, of, a lot of people in our community really appreciate. It shows kind of a full pipeline and where our products, where the Mars ecosystem fits within within that. Um, and so, yeah, so you know, feel free to take a picture of this. Otherwise, you'll find it on our website, and you you can get it there as well. It's exciting to to announce that over 500 inst uh, studios and institutions. In, including this, the studio here are, util, are utilizing uh, Mar, Mars Cam Track. We're, we're excited that there's a lot, a lot of folks in town that are using it. Uh, so yeah, if it's something that you're really curious about, please reach out and we can find a place where you can get a demo here in town. Well, I'd like to I'd like to introduce uh, Jeremy Brooks, who is uh, an industry professional. He he is a virtual production production producer here in town. He is also one an early user of Mars. He's done a lot of things with this, and I'd love for him to tell us a little more about his experience. Hi guys, thank you. So yeah, as Ray just went through, I'm a virtual production producer, and we use I utilize. Uh, Vibe Mars Cam Track in several different ways, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about it, of how it's actually changing the industry and how it can be utilized uh, at every level of fidelity of, of filmmaking. Um, yesterday, I did a, an awesome panel on democratization of virtual production, and one of the things that I spoke on was coming into virtual production. The level of, of production is, is now being, the cost of it is being lowered and brought into, um, <clears throat> brought, w filmmakers are able to enter that bar 
at, at a lower cost and produce higher fidelity production uh, content. With that being said, the Vice Cam Mars cam track and the the um, the fizz track system is is just adding to that. So for uh, for instance, right, he stated for seven thousand dollars, right, entry level, we you can total you can walk into any green screen stage, you can set this up within maybe less than thirty minutes, shoot an entire live composited production and walk out and either have that ready for pitch and or YouTube content, short form content, or you know whatever you really need to use it for, but it's allowing filmmakers now to take a high fidelity of content. Unreal Engine has high fidelity assets, you have a high fidelity camera and a lens system, and now you have all that tracking and 3D data, and you take that into Unreal Engine and you do that live composite and you walk into a studio and you're like, here's my movie, give me money. Uh, but <laughs> if it was only that simple. Um, but yeah, so one of the other things that um, I like about the system is the ease of use. I don't know how many of you have been around today, but I actually calibrated this lens in the lobby out there in about an hour. And that is a five focal plane, five focal point lens. And I did the 25, the 35, and the 55 in less than 30 minutes. Uh, and then I did the other ones just because. We are gonna demonstrate it. I will be over at the, the demonstration post uh, shortly, but I wanted to let you know that that is not normally heard of. I've used a bunch of other tracking systems, not to name names, but it takes three hours. That door cannot, the door would not be able to be open. It would be, have to be pitch black. No one can walk in front of the camera. No, can, no one can move the camera. No one can move the, the tracking system or it's a, an entire process wasted. As you saw, I was doing that in the lobby. People were opening the door next to me. It was a, you know, a very nerve wracking and stressful situation with people walking around and yet I calibrated a lens uh, almost perfectly within an hour. Uh, and so that's, that's something that a lot of other systems can't do and it's portable, right? You can walk into any volume, hence this one. We walked into a volume, we hooked that up, we put the base stations up, I calibrated a lens, and now I'm ready to shoot a movie. We ha have a scene up here, uh, you know, let's the Bob's Big Boy coffee shop scene. And if we really wanted to, I could have social media content, a small short, if you wanted to do just a simple driving scene, or take a bigger page out of your script and have a full production ready tracking system, short film, and be able to take that and go and do, that could be like a pickup shot for you if you were on a bigger budget film. Um, another thing that Ray touched on, which is, which is really good, is you can use this collaboratively with other uh, tracking systems. We have Stipe in the building. As you can see across the, the roof, there are star trackers. Stipe could have came in today, shot a bunch of footage with, with their, uh, for their movie or, or whoever is utilizing Stipe and say we missed a shot and we had to do pickups, at the, the cost of the Vive, Vive kit, you could walk into a green screen volume and really replicate that with a simple light, the car, if you have available to it, the camera, and then one or two of the VizTrack systems, all for well under the price of a full day's volume visit. <laughs> um, so, um, there's plenty of other, there's plenty of reasons to invest in a system like this. It can take your level of fidelity so much further and you're, you're, you'd be able to uh, do countless things with it. Um, so yeah, I'd like to open the floor back up to any questions for on the system specs, um, real world use. I'd be happy to come over and talk to people with it and I'll hand it back to Ray. Just, uh, you know, it seems like we're running out of time here in the room, so I uh, just want to be, uh, you know, thankful for our incredible hosts here. Uh, but we'll be around, so if you have any questions, feel free to flag us down. Thanks for hanging out at us at first, first Fridays and at the Production Summit 2023. I'm sure we'll see you next time.